Welcome to Electron Online, and here we have a nice example for you on how to calculate heat loss through convection and we're dealing with a vertical wall here so let's say we have a vertical wall kept at 100 degrees centigrade the area is 20 square meters it is 20 degrees on either side of the wall and you're being asked to find how much total heat is lost after one hour of course we have to keep the wall at 100 degrees centigrade so somehow heat has to be put into the wall to keep it at 100 degrees centigrade while it's leaking heat to the environment on both sides with the convection currents. The equation says that the QDT is equal to H, A times delta T. Of course, H depends on the fluid that's taking the heat away. In this, case, it's, in this case, it's air. So air, that means that H for vertical walls is 1.77. Uh, let's see here, times delta T to the 1 quarter power, and the units are joules per second per meter squared per centigrade degree. So that would be H times the area, of course the area that we have here is 20 meters squared and notice that the wall can lose heat on both sides that means we have to then double this so times 2 because we have two sides of the wall that are leaking out heat and times the change in the temperatures, let's call this uh, delta T so what we need to do now is plug in uh, the delta T that would be 100 minus 20 would be 80 degrees centigrade and of course we have to multiply this times this so this is equal to um, 100 and oh, 1.77 times joules per second meters squared centigrade degrees uh, times 40 meters squared notice that the meters squared will cancel out times since we already have taken into account in this delta t to the one fourth the units of centigrade degrees then of course this will have centigrade degrees as well that means 80 times to the 5 fourth power times centigrade degrees so the meter squared will cancel out the centigrade deg degrees will cancel out and we're left with joules per second which is watts and now with a calculator we can figure out how much heat is being lost and of course that would be per second and so we have 80 raised to the um, 5 fourths power which is uh, 239 uh, times 40 and times 1.77 and so we get a heat loss of uh, 16,940 joules per second. So that's the DQDT uh, that's being lost by the wall. That's 20 square meters on each side because the 80 degree centigrade degree temperature difference. So now we need to find Q after an hour. So that means Q is equal to DQDT times the time elapsed. So we got the DQDT, which is 16,940 joules per second. And then we have to multiply times the time of 3,600 seconds, because that's how many seconds there are in an hour. So the seconds cancel out. So multiply this times 3,600. And that means, and of course I need to find the scientific notation button on here. Uh, that's better. So that's uh, 6.1 times 10 to the seventh joules um, hmm, that's 61 million joules being lost by that wall all right so again keep in mind that this under ideal conditions no wind no um, obstruction of any sort a wall being vertical um, yeah it's uh, it's just an approximation notice in real life things aren't that simple but here to give us a good approximation that's how you would do a problem like that